What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video and this is a follow up to a video that I posted yesterday. A lot of you guys want to know how to add those custom fonts to your computer um, from 1001fonts.com. So I'm going to show you guys how to download the fonts and add the fonts to your computer's font book whether you're on PC or you're on a Mac. I'm going to show you both ways guys. So these fonts are usable on Photoshop, these fonts are usable on Silhouette Studio, these fonts are usable on just about any program that requires you to use fonts so you can um, use different fonts and not use those boring same old fonts that are available to everybody. So if it's your first time here Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you are excited about learning this stuff, and let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a notepad and we're gonna type some text. A dub productions. All right, we got this fancy text right here. Um, we're gonna change it to something. <laughs> well, that's okay, we'll just leave this right here. Um, okay, we got that right there. We're going to go to open up a browser now, right? We're going to open up a browser and we're going to go to 1001 free fonts. All right, got a bunch of browsers open back up. Sheesh, look at that. Always keep your browsers closed, guys. All right, so we're going to find a font. Let's go to black letter. Let's see what that has to offer us. All right, let's find, look at this. All right. Frankter Shadowed. Frankter Shadowed. We're going to download this. See where it says free right here? You can download that for free. All these fonts are absolutely free. It does not say for these specific ones that anything is attached. It says absolutely free and that is what um, I see right here. So I'm going to download Frankter Shadowed. When I click right here to download it, you see it goes right here and it downloads onto my computer, all right? Now, the reason why I started Notepad is I want to show you guys something. Let me go back to Notepad, click right here, and if I highlight this and I go to Format, to Font, you can see right now that if I try to type in Frank, that, that uh, text that we download is not available yet. It's called Frankfurt Shadowed. It's not available yet because we didn't add it. We just downloaded it, right? So how do we add this to our font book on a PC? Okay, so you're going to go to search where it says search right here and you start typing in fonts, F-O-N-T and font settings. You press enter to go to font settings, right? All right, so now you see where it says drag and drop to install. First, you're going to want to open up the font, guys. You got to open up the font and then you got to put the font on your desktop, all right? So let me go to my folders right here. Just navigate the little folder at the bottom of the screen, or if you can't find it, just type in, just go to the same search bar and type in downloads, all right? And then you can navigate to your downloads folder. So you click on your downloads folder, um, and it opens up the downloads folder right there, all right? So Frankfurt Shadowed. Open it up, and get a few pop-ups. All right, there it is right here. So what you guys might get is it might go and oh, I double clicked on it. It's going to go to this right here and you open that up and it's in a folder. Some of you guys, depending on what text that you download, you're going to get a folder and you're going to have to open up that folder so you can access this file right here. So you go over here and you click on that file. Let me see if I can drag it to the desktop like this. No, I can't. All right. So I'm just going to close this out right here. Um, close out. This, don't need that. I'm going to drag it to the desktop. Boom. Take it. Put it right here on the desktop. All right. See the text is on the desktop now? Guys, don't forget, when you um when you download this stuff, right, you want to empty out your downloads folder because a lot of times you put you download stuff on the internet and your computer will start acting slow, start running slow because you don't empty out stuff that's in your downloads folder. So keep that, just another tip. You know, I like to give tips as we go along. So let's go back to our font thing. It says in the folder, like you go, <laughs> I'm just rambling, sorry guys, to the font settings, all right? So um, if, you, if that went away for you, just go back and find it. The same thing, type in font settings, but mine is right here. So you grab this on your desktop and just drag it right there. Look, boom, all right? So it's now added that text. It's now added that text to our um, our fonts in the uh, computer. All right, let me just, I don't see, okay, there it is right there. You give it, gave it a chance. You gotta give it a chance to um, download. So Frankfurt, 
Frank Dirt Shadowed. All right, so let's go see if we can find it. All right, we're gonna close this out. We're gonna highlight, go back to our notepad right here. Yep, close it out. We're gonna highlight this text. Then we're gonna go to Format, Font. Then we're gonna start typing it in. F R A. There it is right here. Frank for Shadowed. I'm gonna press it. Press OK. And there's our text right there. It's very very small on this, but hey guys, that's how you do it. You can use this text in Photoshop, and you can use it in any other thing. I don't think that this specific um, app right here has a thing where you can make the font bigger, but this tutorial was just to show you guys how to add um, the text so you can use it on, like I said, Photoshop, you can use it on um, the Silhouette America, I mean Silhouette Studio, you can use it on any apps, um, video editing programs, alright, so it goes on and on and on. So now that I showed you how to do it on PC, let me just jump over and we'll show you how to do it on Mac, guys, let's go. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, we're on our Mac's desktop, and we are going to go ahead and dive straight into it and go ahead over to uh, 1001freefonts.com. We're going to go to Alien, and we're going to find a text. How about this? Kalis. All right, we're going to download Kalis. As you guys can see before we download it, let's download it right here. Click the button. It's downloading right here. It's already downloaded. You guys see it says free for personal use. Right, so it is free for personal use, guys, but you can also buy a commercial license if you want to use it commercially for um, your business and stuff like that. So, yeah, these are available only for personal use. That I guess that answers our questions. But to be honest with you guys, while I was in film school, we used to use this resource all the time, and I wouldn't advise you to because if you get big or something, you definitely might want to consider getting a license if you're going to. Um, um, use this for your designer or your brand or whatever. You can also donate to the designer if you'd like to. So we've already downloaded our file. Let's go ahead and close this out. Um, close out Google Chrome. And to add this to our font on our a Mac, you just go up here to the little magnifying glass and you press font. And it, it navigates you to font, font book. So here is your font book, guys. All right, so now you want to go ahead to your downloads folder, which is right here. And you go ahead and open it up. See all my pictures over there. You double click on it and go into the folder. And you simply just drag and drop it in here. All right. You just drag and drop it in here. So I'm just going to actually go here. Just press add. And then in your downloads folder, find the fonts. Click on them. And then open. All right. So it added it to the font book. Let's go look for it. Kalis, there it is. All, all of them right there. And here are the fonts right here that we just downloaded. All right. All right. So now you can go ahead in any software and you can use these fonts, guys. All right. Adub Productions. So guys, I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And share this video with other people so that they too can make interesting designs and make their fonts more interesting by using unique and interesting fonts, guys. Um, do your research on the website. I got a question in the last video saying, are these fonts, are the fonts that you download uh, can you use them commercially? Do your due diligence, go to the website, um, look up the fine print and see for yourself. But this is just a resource that I was shown in film school from my professor and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. It is available for the public, for everybody to use and a lot of fonts are free. Some of them require a small donation. I think that's what it was back in the day. But you can donate to some of the font creators, guys. So do your due diligence if you want to use them commercially. But I'm just showing you a resource that's for free, available for public. You don't have to um, pay any fee to enter the site or anything. So I just thought I'd share it with you guys. If you guys found it useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to visit the merch store at alanaway.com. Buy yourself some channel merch to help support the channel. And guys... Follow me on Instagram, Instagram.com backslash ADub Productions, Facebook.com backslash ADub Productions, and Facebook.com backslash King ADub. It's your boy, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up, turn it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?